Hey YouTube, we got a uh, pretty good EDC knife choice for you here. Uh, review Kershaw Echelon, uh, slightly modified with acid washing. Uh, thumb stud deployment G10 with mild to no traction. Um, it's not it's not slippery like an FRN handle. Um, a rat one handle well you really don't need it with the rat one jumping it's a review I need to get out is the rat one um, liner lock the liner it's kinda hard to access that liner I'm used to it um, there is a little choil if you want to call it a um, little ground out section here where you can slightly get a hold of that um, all but absent liner right there. Um, it's not impossible. Uh, weighs three ounces, I think, just under three ounces. I have a video of uh, me weighing it with a scale. It was in the hospital. Um, not talking a lot in a part. It was a no weapons carry type of hospital. It's children's. Um, so I didn't carry my gun in. Did not want to let, be talking in the room about my knife weight and drawing their attention. Um, black hardware, pivot screw, body screws, um, medium sized stop pin, good lockup. Um, no movement side to side. Uh, absent there of um, jimping of any kind on the body or the spine. Um, I forgot the steel. I actually looked up the steel using the knife chart that uh, Jeff over at the Cutler Channel suggested on the App Store. Um, it is, for lack of a word, copyrighted, um, exclusive. It, they're exclusive to Kershaw and a Japanese knife company. Um, good steel. I haven't had a. It's it's kind of tough to sharpen for me. Holds an edge very. Well, the longevity longevity of the edge life is decent. Um, deeper pair deeper um, carry pocket clip. I don't really call it deep pocket clip compared to Sog Trident, which I don't really want to dig through right now. For um, this, the uh, body screws and the pivot screw are not. Blue lock tied it in, but however, I did need a drill to get them out. I could not really do it by hand. I don't have a. I have the little. Little Torx bits, so I don't have the fixed handle ones. Um, so they were a little difficult to get out. Good thing. Uh, my torsion bar is still connected. Good detent. I still needs lube. He's slightly faster than that, but not much. Um, I did, when I did have this knife taken apart to acid wash it, I did take some 800 or 1000 grit sandpaper and polish the knife to make it a little bit smoother. Wasn't the smoothest. Now, this is freaking butter. Um, this is the $70 model with the Jade Green G10 handles. They do have a opaque, kind of a clear, opaque off-white, and they have what they call their Earth Tone, which is the $100. So is their their $45 opaque, their $70 something dollar Jade Green, which is this, and they have their $100 Earth Tone. So they do allow people to come in at different end levels. Um, when I got this, there was just the great Jade Green that I know of. This is the 2013 which kinda sucks. It's not the 2012 that have the milled eyelet which I thought it was which is the one I thought it was when I got it. Um, hollow thumb studs which work okay. Oops, Jack got in the way. It's not like a typical um, thumb stud that you want to follow through with all the way. This is more just kind of a flick I don't really know how to demonstrate that. You just kind of just push it enough. 
which is kind of hard to get it out there fast enough. It's not like it, I don't know, enough of that. Um, G10 is fairly strong, even the right here there is, oops, sorry about the finger, um, no liner, um, and even back here there's no liner, there's no give to it really, there is a liner in it, um, but it quits out about halfway, it's still a strong knife, and you have pillar standoffs, um, three of them, and this power clip has two torques, which don't need to take off to take off the body. It was a little scratched up because I do use my knives. Um, I don't know what else to say about this. It's, it is a good knife, EDC knife, um, compared to my other knives, which a couple of them don't need jumping, really. Obviously, this is a little larger. Spartan. Um, due to the handle, doesn't you don't really need jimping. Um, this one, you do need jimping on it, in my opinion. I'll do a review on this later. Another EDC knife I carry, and the last one. These are the four that I carry more regularly than I do the other ones. There, Russia two. So, obviously two being the larger ones. And I do, no matter what I carry, whether it's Echelon or the Raja 2, I'm going to move my hand here, sorry. Buck, okay, this is my boot knife. So, uh, sorry about the finger, this is my fourth freaking time doing it, it's getting late, I'm not going to do it again. Uh, I don't know what else I can say about this knife, man. It's just great, great little leaf blade shape, um, partially hollow round. Um, wish I could remember the name of the steel. I'll look it up, and then download the knife chart on your iPod, iOS operated device. Um, it has all sorts of knife steels in there, from knife to saw blades to band saws to tool steels, just everything. Uh, if you want a further in-depth review, look up at Jeff over at the Cutlery Channel, Cutlery Lover, excuse me, and he goes and he'll show you the actual app and how to operate it. Um, good little knife, man. I suggest it. I always like three ounces. I'll try to keep this video short. Um, I don't know what else I can really say about it. So, pick one up, man. Like I said, they have three different buying op options: the opaque, the jade, and the, you know earth tone so if you really can't afford even the $70 version there's a $40 version can't afford that EDC there's a good EDC right there 25 bucks you cannot beat that for the money thanks for guys watching guys and always stay sharp